Hey my lovelies and welcome back to the channel and episode 9 of Growing Not So Berry Together, Rose Yen. And we are here with Ruby, being a bit later than we usually have planned because I already had recorded this video and then realized there was no audio recorded. So I had to refilm it. So here is episode 9, version 2. And right now our call is in class. She's taking some notes. She's attending business class hoping to increase her charisma skill and there have been a few things that i need to notify you lovelies on first thing is apologies for the lack in a set schedule as explained in my video last week work has been very busy for me my personal life has been very busy so i'm trying to find the right balance on when to film i'm also discussing with my boyfriend for example to have a set night throughout the week not just in the weekend so i can film and have a more schedule and more content available for you guys so i don't have to miss out on thursday's videos for example as well as i've been working very hard on an introduction with a whole backstory in machinima style for you lovelies for my horse ranch mini series but it's been taking a lot longer than expected which is why my schedule has not been as you are used from to you're used to and I'm rambling a bit so I'm sorry but uh, that's why I'm trying to find a balance so I'm hoping that slowly I will get a balance and get some regular content for you guys the other thing I want you guys to update on is there has been some changes in Ruby's traits she now has talents and weaknesses so there's two that she got uh, signed one weakness one talent and there's two that I just I assigned to her but I want you guys' opinion on whether you think it fits if not I will take it away so the ones I assigned to her were charisma strong presence because she has to build up her charisma and as a politician you have to have a strong presence you have to be charismatic also, the description of the Rose Gen states that the parent that they don't have a parental feeling. They're not really great parents, so that's why I thought slow learning parent would be good as her weakness. And then the ones that she got assigned was actually natural born actor. So she got assigned as a talent to be a natural born actor, which I think makes sense. Being a politician, you do have to act. You do have to put a certain presence there, a certain image, and that does require some acting skills. Then the other thing is she is a struggling athlete. She hates fitness. So she, of course, is going to struggle with developing athletic skills if she doesn't like it. So these two are were determined randomly. These two I actually assigned to her. But let me know what you think. Like if you think these two that I assigned don't fit I will take them away um, but if you think keep them I will keep them then something else that happened is I placed down a vote because Molly aged up in the last episode and it doesn't to me make sense for a young adult to be in a relationship with a teen and I worry uh, and I think Molly was also acting a bit weird towards Ruby in the last episode in the last two episodes even so she is really gonna have to think about what she wants to do and what molly wants to do so after school she needs to go to student council first no student council is tomorrow um i think i'm going to have her do an odd job maybe it happens after school but if she has time i'm going to send her out to an ice cream parlor i downloaded from j sheree sharp on the gallery which is the cupcake and ice cream shop if you search for ice cream shop or ice cream something put it on lots 30 by 20 and then most popular you will find this one and i really like it and i think it's where she's gonna invite molly over to talk about okay so you're now graduated what do you want to do and since you guys voted for them to break up i think this is when she is gonna um, jog to clear mind right now, but where she's gonna find a bit of a switch because Molly's gonna 
break up with her, which is what you guys voted for. So she is going to be changing a bit. I'm going to change her appearance as we have seen her outfits and her hairstyle. So I'm going to slowly age her up in terms of her outfits. But this is when we're going to see a bit more of a change in Ruby probably. Where she's going to be more into the serial romantic aspiration. I'm not going to switch it yet because we have career day today. And I think it's good to see how far we can get with the goal oriented aspiration. But um, she will age up in 8 days. So I think that it's fine to change the aspiration once she turns into a young adult. But it's got to start in her teen life where she is slowly transforming into not being sure if she wants romance in her life. Not being sure if she wants steady romance in her life. So we'll see how it goes. And we are here in the auditorium for career day. There's going to be, I think. This is Cassandra Goff, but remarried. So we're going to ask about her career, but I think it looks like the criminal career, actually. And then we have entertainment career. Let's ask details about this career, too. And this is... Either it's the secret agent or it's the military Rock career, but it's not anything related to uh, politics as far as I can see, so I think it's not going to be to her liking, but we'll see. She's just going to ask around what she thinks is working for her or what the other careers are to see if she can gain an interest, but who knows? Maybe she likes the careers, maybe she doesn't. It's... She's still a teen, so she doesn't have to decide yet on, on the careers. And she's also going to talk to her professor about the future because Career Day is, of course, also talking about. or talking it over with your professor. So let's see if we have that option. Okay, so she seems to be in, excited in this career, which I think is entertainment. Um, she's also talking to. This person's presentation, or talk to this person about their presentation and their career. But I'm not sure like what she thinks. Like she may find it interesting, but it's not something that she would see herself potentially doing. Like that could be the case. It could also be that she really doesn't like certain careers. And we need to, as I said, discuss our future with our teacher. So let's see if we have the pop up for it now. Discuss future. And let's see what our teacher says we need to do. So she found some really interesting career paths she might go down. And I think we all know that one of them is going to be the politics career. But right now she's young, she may not really think about politics, she may find it interesting, but she may not find it the most interesting thing. But there might be some changes as to why she finds it more interesting or anything else. Like she knows that being a conservationist from her dad, from Akoa, is interesting, so she wants to be more on the pushing side. She does that with student, her student council job as well, for example. But she's just looking at what the possibilities are to do in the future, what things she can do, and what things could be interesting for her. But right now, she has at least a little bit more of a confidence in, in the future, in what she wants to do. She still has a few days to decide, but at least her girl has an ID. And our girl is so interested in the future that she starts a study course for university entrance exams. So I guess she wants to go to university. What do you lovelies think? Should our girl go to university? Should we do... I would maybe put in a skill or another skill or mod that lim uh, reduces the num time we need to spend on university and I would also not use university as a boost in her career even though it's not cheating but I would start her a bit lower if she would uh, then she would for example start with um, 
with the university degree. But if you guys want me, I'll list a poll on Twitter and also let me know in the comments down below. Um, if you guys want me to have her go to university. Alright, so we are selecting an odd job right now. And there are a few that begin ASAP, which I think would be better. And this one is actually a tutor, which is 50 simoleons. This one is photos, which is 55 simoleons per hour. And I'm not sure how long everything takes. But I am going to do the one that she earns the most money with. And she does have level 2 of photography, so it should be fine. She's going to go to the toilet real quick. And then I think she should probably start the odd job at 4. Yeah, at 4. So... We'll see how it goes, and then she's gonna travel with Molly to the ice cream parlor. That hope, let's hope it doesn't take until 8 p.m. But we'll see how it goes. And no, we're not gonna graduate early. All right, so we are here at the ice cream and cupcake shop, and let's see if there's anything that we can buy because that's what I would prefer. Hmm, I think we have to make it. So in that case, I will deduct some simoleons from the ice cream crafting or actually making it will already take some way. Oh, I wish we could do the twin roses, but she doesn't have enough. So why don't you then do... Pure Perfection sounds actually very nice. So she's going to make a Pure Perfection ice cream. And let's see, she is going to talk to Molly. She's going to have a deep conversation with Molly about, so, um, how are you right now? How are you doing? She didn't cheat. Many, many times I've said it, she didn't cheat. I've checked it. Uh, Haley, why are you not taking care of yourself? But she's gonna uh. talk to Molly about like the situation. She wants to know, okay, so what are we gonna do? Um, are you gonna go to university? Uh, do you want to stay in touch? Like, is it gonna be long distance? Like, what do you want to do? And um, as we know, Molly is not sure, and she's actually gonna break up with her girl. Who this place is actually so cute. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add Molly temporarily to the household because I want to break up from Molly's point of view. So let's see, can I actually head her to the house? Hmm. Can I even add her to the family is the question because she's not part of the family why can I not add her to this family okay seems I have to do it from MCC then instead from testing cheats so give me a second guys okay so apparently I cannot move Molly into the household but I can use MCC to control her and have her do an interaction and she faster than our girl is and she's already breaking up with her hmm. and she's just saying like oh, it's sure. not you it's me I'm older than you I don't want to be with somebody who's still in high school I think she right now is about 16 years old and oh, hmm, poor girl and she's gonna just say like yeah it's over between us i want to take a picture of her cry but apparently not and she's just gonna cool down all of the romance she broke up with our girl our girl is feeling ang uh, angry from feeling dumped of feeling angry from being dumped and then also first permanent separation well you know how it is. You always believe things can last forever. You make promises. Uh, you make promises. You believe other Sims' promises. And then life happens. It draws distance between beings that were close. It fosters conflict where they used, when they're only used to be love. Not love, peace. 
It brings weariness into a love that seems eternal, and one day a couple breaks like rubies. I cannot read. <laughs> okay, you guys uh, see that I cannot read today. But she, they're both bitter about breakup. She still has a crush, which she is going to have to get over. Her. And I think we're going to bring the ice cream home um, with us. But yeah, she, she and Molly are broke, breaking up. I think we, what she's going to do is she's going to ask what Molly's problem is. Like, why are you breaking up with me? Why are you doing this to me? Like, she's now, it hasn't fully sinken in or sunk in. So she is going to just ask a bunch of questions. And she's going to do the one thing that she never thought she would do. And she's going to use her alien power to erase from Molly's memory that she is an alien. Because she's scared that now that Molly's no longer in a relationship with her, Molly is actually going to tell about her being an alien, not going to keep it a secret. And she is really scared that it go comes out. And she doesn't want to, uh, that to happen. So she is going to do what she has to do. And we are going to put some chocolate sauce toppings and some... Let's see. Waffle pe Ooh, strawberries. Strawberries on there. But she's going to talk with Molly a bit more. And she is going to ask, like, what's your problem? Why are you doing this to me? And she says, I really don't like you very much right now. Just feeling bitter of a few things that I'll get over eventually or not. And she's now also going to raise Molly's memory. She already did it, actually. Oh, wow. It lowered her brain power. She's not feeling happy. She's feeling tired now. But she is doing what she thought was best for her. So there is no relationship between her and Molly. They're only bitter, but everything else is gone. There's no love. There's no friendship. And she is going to head home. It's 10 p.m. She's going to watch the TV sh season premiere with her family. And I think she is going to have to do one of these interactions, which is try to get over crush Molly Brinson. Uh. And she is now <laughs> taking notes apparently like how to get over a crush. Um, she can't get over Molly yet so she is gonna uh. feel heartbroken for a little while. But yeah our girl has, has been breaking up, has been broken up with. She now looks confident but I think that will change in the morning once she realizes what it actually means and what actually has happened. And I think this is the start of her becoming slowly a serial romantic. What do you lovelies think? And how do you feel about her and Molly breaking up? I think it's sad. I didn't wish this on her. It is that it is in the rules. But otherwise, I think it would have been nice to have her stay longer with Molly. Maybe develop something more. But unfortunately, life sometimes isn't all happiness and rainbows and moonshines. Sometimes it is tough, and sometimes there are things that make you sad, and Ruby has now realized that. Alright, so Ruby is home, and she's quickly going to do her homework, even though she's very tired, but she has to do it. And then she is going to watch the TV show premiere with everybody else. So let's cue this up. We're going to watch Peaches the New Orange, which... We're gonna have both colors in the generation, so I think that's a nice nod of what's to come. But right now, it is for everybody to watch because I think it's nice if they have a family movie time or family TV show moment. So she might use it as a little bit of a distraction, she may not tell everybody. Uh, about what happened between her and Molly, but she she is going to have to tell somebody soon. Otherwise, she's going to bottle up a lot of feelings that she doesn't necessarily know what the best way is to deal with. And I feel bad for her. I really do. But it happens, girl. Her responsibility is looking a bit worse, but otherwise her... 
Character values are on the green, so I think she's doing really well. Even though she lost a bit of empathy, she still is very compassionate towards other people. And this is actually the first time I have a sim with, I think, with all character values in green. So I'm excited about that, but I am sad for her uh, and what has happened to her. And the whole family is enjoying the ice cream that Ruby brought with her from the ice cream shop so look at these two enjoying the ice cream we also have little Haley over there who is still so beautiful with ice cream that i think i would love to have right now as i've been really wanting to get some ice cream today but haven't had the opportunity because it's been raining and not really ice cream weather and here's the rest of the family also enjoying their pure perfection ice cream although our girl is looking a bit sad even though she is happy but her knees are not the greatest so i think i'm going to send everybody to bed and take care of the needs and in the morning i think i'm going to send ruby on her own to work in high school because i don't think it's necessary for her to or for me to join her every single time. I think it's also important to sometimes have her go into school without me. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. And then, with the time still left, I'm going to give her a quick makeover. And we'll see her in the morning with her new look. Alright, so Ruby is looking a bit more grown up and a bit different. But I think she looks so beautiful. So she has a different hairstyle, it's a bit longer, it's a bit more wavy, and then she is now wearing makeup, she's also wearing earrings now, a crop top, I kept this skirt for her first outfit, and then I also gave her some heels. Mm. For her second outfit, she had the black dress with the shirt with the different colored stripes. I now gave her this more high school outfit, like it's kind of a sexier version more grown-up version of a school outfit. I think it looks really, really nice on her. I'm not trying to make her um, look like she's trying to get something, but I think it just looked like she was looking a lot more grown-up, and I think this outfit is really nice on her. Her third outfit I kept, but I gave her this like, styled ponytail, so she, for this she would style down her hair and have a ponytail. Then this outfit stayed the same because this outfit is one of my favorite outfits of her even though we don't see it often since it's now summer. And then this is a new outfit where she is a little bit more in a rocker chick area and this is with her dealing her feelings, expressing herself a bit hmm. differently from what she typically does and she also has her hair up in a hairdo that she also wears for her athletic wear. And for her hot weather wear, she also wears the same ponytail that she does for her every day. Then this is her new prom dress. I think she looks so amazing. I still have the other one too. But this one absolutely does looks amazing on her. And then the other outfits I didn't touch. What I do want to do as well is we are going to go quickly to Kia, our little kitty, and then into pet clothing because I have this little cat outfit and I want to give her this style because I think, to be honest, that Ruby would put an outfit on Kia. So our German Rex cat is now wearing a little outfit. And that's it for the makeover, so let's head into game and I have some where I have some surprising news for you lovelies. Look how amazing she looks in game and apparently Rory likes gardening. Are you working on the garden? He is autonomously working on the garden. Oh, Rory, can you evolve some plants at the same time if you're working on the garden anyways? And hello game. Are you responding? Okay, yes. Uh, Ruby is gonna be going alone. And did Rory just... 
Rory is not popular or unpopular. He is a floater, which is not part of a social group. And he isn't different about being popular. He has a good reputation. And I think he's no longer a preteen, which means that he should be a bit taller now. But the issue I have with the preteen mod is that it doesn't happen for me. So settings, reset heights. And yes, our boy is now the, to uh, the height that he should be. And he is now allowed to go into high school as well. So once we join with Ruby, Rory will also join us. But in the meantime, he's going to go to school because I think he can go to school anyways. Because, and otherwise, we're going to spend the day with him. Okay, our girl is not doing well. So I know she has a... I know she's sick. She's not going into high school, so I think I'm go have, gonna have to call her in sick. But the game is not really cooperating because I had to call her call in sick, but I'm not getting any notification. Rory is not doing anything. Uh, Haley. Okay, there we go. Everybody's going to school, which they, which they should be doing. Haley is supposed to be at school, Miguel is supposed to be at school, but they're not in school. So I don't know what's happening with my sims, but they're not doing what they're supposed to do. And the news that I'm having is... Pepper and Makoa Wood, and I just had to move, no try for baby. But apparently, our girl is pregnant. Which means there's going to be a full household of eight people, which I didn't want. There's going to be another baby on the way, which I actually did not want. But these two decided that they're going to follow their own road and when have another baby. And this is a really cute animation, but I did not want another pregnancy. I really did not. And can you please go to school? Oh, please. I'm gonna reset these kids. I really am gonna reset these kids. Because they're not going into school. And I wanna know what's up here. Because I'm not... They should be... Go be they should go into school. And I... Like, she should stay home. But everybody else should be in school. Okay, so the game seems to think that Miguel's at school, which he is not. Uh, the same goes for Ruby, but I cannot have her call in sick. So I'm going to try one more time to reset these sims, have them go to school. And otherwise, not good for the grades, to be honest, which I don't like for her. But with her, she's sick, so I can understand. But Miguel should be going to school and he is glitching out. Ooh, it's Harvest Fest tomorrow. Is he going to school now? She is going to complain about her parents. I think what I'm going to have to do is... You're not going <sighs> to... No. I wanted her to write a note. Can I have her write a note? To... No. I wanted them to have a note for being for not being in school, but I'm not sure if that's possible, actually. Can you write a note? Write excuse note for Ruby, Rory, and Miguel. I think that's the best option. That he's gonna write some excuse notes. Because otherwise I'm not sure what we can do. Do. So he's going to write an excuse note for everyone. And hopefully it works while he is, well, everybody else is at, uh, at work. Because our, like, she is sick. Like, sh you can uh -huh. definitely see this girl is sick. She's hungry. And for the life of me, I cannot have her call in sick. I cannot have her take a vacation. Okay, Miguel's finally going to school. Okay, she is going to. Get leftovers. And she's gonna take some rest. And I'm gonna try it one more time 
to reset her and have her call in sick and otherwise take a vacation day. Oh, okay, gosh. we did it. She oh. got to call in oh, sick. So, well, you are getting a call now. So Dwayne is calling you, asking if Elsa Bergson should go on a date. Yes, go for it. And you are getting a call from Janice that she had a nice time. Okay. But she is now not late for school because she got the day off. Shouldn't be eating cake when you're sick, but she does need medicine, so maybe I can have her go to the doctors. Ooh. And otherwise I'm gonna have Makoa write oh, a great. note for her oh. anyways. Oh. But let's a deep in the go healthcare <sighs> services. Let's oh. have her go to the doctors because she is not looking good. And ignore it. Go to the doctors. Okay, so Miguel is home with a school project. Prom is coming up tomorrow. Makoa is home. Haley is now a B student. She's learned social level 3 and creativity level 6. And Miguel is still C student. As well as Makoa has passed his midlife crisis. So a lot of things have happened. Um, I think our girl is not gonna go ask people for prom. I think she's even going to be worried not joining for prom. She's now going to cuddle her cat. And she... Okay, she's taking a sick day now, but I'm not sure how it, well it actually registered. And we'll see if she's able to go to her s student council activity because she is sick and I'm not sure if we Oops. can oh, have her go you. in. I think it I think, I think she should Jungi. skip it, but maybe she's doing it from a line. We'll say that she's sitting in her bed and having a calling meeting. Um, you are gonna... Oh, you're gonna say hi to your brother. And you are gonna... Re you want to learn how to ride a bike, so you are gonna practice riding a bike. And you are going to do the same, but you are going to ask your brother. And Makoa is writing his execution notes. He also needs to reach level 8 of logic. But I'm not really focusing on his career, to be honest. Okay, oh, she's gonna take... No, 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 I don't want Rory, Rory to take the day off. But apparently Ruby is gonna take off the day. And... Mako, what can you do? You need to work on logic anyway. So why don't you look, work on logic? And she is not gonna talk to... She is gonna talk to her brother. So stop making your... Doing your homework, even though I really want... Really am proud. Uh, no, go in. But she is gonna talk to her brother, introduce herself, and see who Dwayne is. Oh, look how cute! I placed the cleaning. I started the cleaning routine just with the idea that our kitty cat would sit on it, and she is actually doing it as well. So this little one is just enjoying riding on the little robot vacuum, even though it is done with its cleaning routine. And what are you feeling? You are feeling embarrassed from. Privacy violation? Or privacy violation? And she is just standing here even though she should be in her, her student council session. But grab a serving, go eat and take another nap because being sick means take, sleeping a lot, taking a lot of naps. And hopefully you're gonna feel better soon. And in the meantime, are you gonna... She still hasn't introduced herself to her brother, which I think she should do. I think um, Miguel also needs to introduce. So she's gonna... Let's see, friendly... Do a friendly introduction and then ask him to teach her how to ride a bike. And we got a pop-up that Stuart Harjo wants to go to prom with Rory as friends. Well, that's fine. Of course you can. He also got a pop-up oh, that Atticus, that. who is over there looking <sighs> like he needs to get a CC cleanup. Um, he also asked meal. Rory to be best friends, so that's fine. Rui is still asleep. She's feeling a bit better, but she is definitely not getting over it like she still feels she feels delirious she feels 
Um, nauseous. She needs to go to the toilet. She feels... Feeling mildly free from starry eye feel, uh, sickness. So after she takes a nap, she's gonna use the toilet and then back to nabbing. Because this girl needs to take care of herself. And her performance has dropped a lot for a few things. She's now on vacation, even though she should not have been a taking a vacation day. So I'm gonna check in the next episode. Um, when... If she still is on vacation or if she will go back into school. But let me know in the comments down below if you think she should go to university. I will let this sickle rest and tomorrow we're gonna have another prom episode. But this time she is gonna attend prom on her own. We're also going to find out more about the new addition to the family. And we're going to focus a little bit more on family gameplay because it is the weekend and it's also Harvest Fest. So Harvest Fest falls together with prom apparently. So I hope you guys like this episode. I am going to end it here. If you guys did, click that little like button down below. And as I said, don't forget to share your opinions about Ruby going to university and about her new looks as well as what do you think about the breakup. And if you're not subscribed yet and don't want to miss out on either a wholesome or chaotic video, make sure you click that little like button down below. And I'll see you lovelies in the next one. I found you in.